G'day, I'm Mick Angel here, and welcome to Mick Angel Here's Australia. Right now, we're on a bit of a bushwalk, and hopefully, we will find some elusive creatures in this bush. As you can see, it's quite thick scrub around me. Thick, impenetrable bush. And uh, so this is the nature of the terrain we are going to be exploring over the next few hours. That's a goanna lace monitor. The little birds there are a little bit alarmed by him because they've got a nest in there. Well, that was incredible. That goanna was on the hunt. Those little birds have got... Uh, Obviously got some nest in there. You could hear them start chattering among themselves when that goanna got a bit too close. And uh, when my presence disturbed the goanna, uh, but wow, he was waiting for me to leave because he's going back to where those birds are and they're hovering around. So once he's engaged in his business, I shall stealthily creep up and see if I can catch him in action. Oh, well, he's walking up the track actually. Let's see, goannas, they don't attack you, but they will if they feel cornered or threatened. So I didn't want to get, let him get too close. Uh, when they bite you, it was long thought that the bacteria in their mouth was the reason why people got infections and things like that from the bite. But what they're coming to realization now is that Goannas and the similar species like Komodo dragons and that actually are venomous, mildly venomous, that you have venom. So when they bite, there's a they inject the venom into they inject the venom. So but they don't attack you. They normally scarper like that like that one did when he saw me, he just went I'm out of here. I was literally on the track blocking his path and he's coming back again. Beautiful.
That was a wasp. Don't want to get stung by a wasp.